Hello guys and welcome back to my channel for another episode of my Pentagon Challenge. First things first, I just want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays as this, this episode is coming out on Christmas Day. I'm just hoping you are all well. Obviously, if you are in the UK with the new restrictions and everything, I hope you are all doing well and having as good a Christmas as you possibly can, looking at the brighter side of things if that is at all possible. Hopefully today I can bring you some joy with this series. So without any further ado, let's get into it and I will catch you up on what you've missed since last time. So then guys, not a lot has happened since you were with us last time. We managed to secure the three points against Boston River, a very difficult game. Uh, last time you were with us. Since then, we played Juventus and unfortunately conceded in the 95th minute here. Um, I'm going to show you that game because the goal that we conceded in the 95th minute, my goalkeeper had a awful, awful time with it. Uh, it's a relatively long range strike for the 95th minute. Um, as you can see here, Reyes just powering forward into Oliveira, goes round one. Oh, it's, it's closer in than I thought it was, but it feels like the goalkeeper moved out of the way of it. Uh, pretty disappointing with that one. Obviously, we did lose to Juventus, but then... But then, Franco Israel, the guy who is on loan from Juventus, come up trumps in the next game. Obviously, sort of wanting to prove a point. Um, so, in this game, he kept a clean sheet away from home against Villa Teresa... Um, he saved a penalty as well from our former player, Gorga. It seems like Villa Teresa are just full of littered with our old players, basically. Gorga and Diaz um, are part of their starting eleven. Um, But yeah, Janinho Rocca got a goal early doors. Israel saved a penalty, uh, which was fantastic. And then Alaya got sent off for the second time uh, this season, which is not good. Um, but we are relatively nicely placed in terms of things. If we go into the closing stage, you can see currently after four games, three wins, one loss. Um, so we are currently fourth. Penarol are top of the tree with Liverpool and Nacional. So we are in very good company at the top of the division. Um, but I still don't think we can expect anything too major. If we go into the overall table, we currently sit fifth. Um, it's infinitely better than where we were predicted to finish. We were initially at the start of the season just told to avoid finishing bottom of the table. And the team that are bottom of the table only have 10 points and we're sat on 42. So I think it's been a very, very successful season. I think I've kind of got my head around things a little bit more. Um, and I should be able to progress a lot more next uh, next season. Yeah, so as you can see, avoid finishing bottom of the league. Um, and we are currently in fourth in the closing stage, as I said. So uh, things are going pretty well. Um, looking forward to moving things on and obviously looking at looking at this October period here this is going to be ridiculous obviously we've got big games against Nacional we've got Liverpool we've got Penarol that will probably define our season that period there so maybe we'll come back for a double game against Liverpool and Penarol depending on if we're still in the hunt after these games in today's game though we take on Plaza Colonia they are 12th in the league um, so we'll go into our tactical meeting here. I'm going to make all those changes suggested by my assistant. He usually keeps things as fresh as possible. However, we... Where are all my players? Um... I don't know what's happened here. I think they've all played... All of, the, all of my players have played in another game. For some strange reason, they've all played in another game today. Oh my god, guys. Okay, right. This is going to be an absolute mess. This is why you don't leave things to your assistant, I assume. Uh, this guy is... <laughs> But it's, uh, I'm just going to go and do the opposition instructions. But guys, we are gonna, we're going to get absolutely annihilated today. I can already tell. He's footed as well. Good Lord. Uh, let's take a look at Lou. Is right footed. So pop him on his left. Caballero is right footed. So we'll put him on his left. This is not the sort of situation that, uh, that we wanted, guys. Obviously, bearing in mind, we are in the hunt for um, a trophy. Not a trophy, but a really nice finish this season. Obviously, if we could somehow sneak into the closing stages 
um, uh, into the closing stages, into the playoff, then that would be superb. But um, I don't think it's going to happen, especially if I go back in and look at this team here. So we've got we've got a relatively solid back line, although this guy, I don't know who he is. He's 19 years of age. Great. Uh, we've got a right back playing centre midfield. He's our starting choice. He's starting he, as a starting choice. He's a starting choice, but not in that position. Carrizo is a fullback by trade. He's left back, but he's going to play as that inside forward and then Dos Santos up top. Um, this is complete and utter negligence on my behalf for a Christmas Day episode. We've managed to screw ourselves, I feel, but... Let's see. Let's see if somehow we can pull something off against the 12th best team in the division. I'm going to give the old media praise. Maximinio Perea likes that. Hopefully we can kind of keep the other team at bay. We are relatively stronger at the back than we are in attack because of these alterations to the team. Um, I've just noticed Penarol are drawing. So I don't know if we're playing at the same time as them or they've already drawn. Oh, guys, this has just been awful, hasn't it? I think my entire bench is players that I don't know either. So should we have to make any subs? I really don't know what we're going to be able to do here. We are, we've got a lot of defenders on the pitch. So I'm hoping maybe we could snag something off of a set piece or something to that effect. Gomez is going to pick up this loose ball here just about into Gunn. Back to Gomez, out to Maximilio Pereira. This is how we're going to have to score our goals. We do have a good striker up top. And there he is, Jonathan De Santos taps in his ninth of the season. An um, interesting first shot from our, our actual left back. He's playing the uh, left wing spot today. Fires it low. And uh, we somehow managed to tap that one in off the goalkeeper spilling it. Perea with the ball in into Carrazzo. Hits it first. Hits the goalkeeper or the post. I'm not too sure. But Dos Santos is on hand to tap that one home. And do you know what, guys? I'm already going to go defensive. Here come... The opposition corner headed over the bar there. Israel would have had that one covered, you like to think. And we move into half time. One goal to the good. I will say in Uruguay, there's not a lot of opportunities. A lot of games are decided by really, really close margins. And, and this is this is exactly one of those. Um, if we can somehow get out of here with a win with our rotation 11, thanks to my incompetence, I'll be absolutely buzzing. Costa on the ball then goes back to Gomez, who is actually a right back. Gan into Ontarevo. Carazio into the left back. He's in the penalty area and obviously he is a left back um, and fired it straight at the goalkeeper. Unfortunate there. You'd like to think a Janino Rocker would have been able to tap that one home. Um, but we move forward. Corner comes in, though. Dos Santos is there. Oh, big, big clearance from the visitors there. As we move almost to the hour mark. I need time to just evaporate here. I don't want any more highlights. I'm happy for this to be one of the shortest episodes you've ever seen me put out in terms of a let's play. Um, and I am more than happy for that to be the case because I don't want any more highlights in this game. Here come the visitors. Spraying it out to the right-hand side into Rodriguez then. Correa got slightly beaten there, but puts in a very good block there. Beltran with the cross. Costa heads that one clear. On Vero on the ball. Hits it long to Dos Santos. The striker's got a lot to do from here. Not a lot of support either. Bodies are finally getting there for him. Cross comes over. Nunes gets that one clear. Our whole midfield unit are completely beaten here. All pushed up for no apparent reason, considering we are on the defensive mentality. And luckily, that one goes straight into our goalkeeper. And what we're going to have to do, guys, is we are going to have to take a look at what we do in possession. We are going to pass much, much shorter at a much lower tempo. And we are going to start wasting time, guys. We're going to be more disciplined in our approach. In transition, we're going to regroup. We're going to hold the shape. We're going to slow the pace down. And hopefully, guys, this can be enough. Because I don't want to bring on any of these players. Because... I mean, they're just, they're just names. They're just, they're all, they're, they're basically the same player. They're all the same player. They all look identical. There's nothing I want to do. There's no reason I need to bring them on. Um, so fingers crossed we can confirm that. Start to adopt this more defensive mentality and hopefully start to see this game out, guys. 20, 15 minutes of this one to go. Can we somehow 
rob a victory here. Into the dying embers of the game. Five minutes to go. I hope. Rodriguez with the throw. Perea clears that one up the line to Dos Santos. Back to Carrazzo Gan. Hits one long. Aimless. Aimless. It's not towards Dos Santos at all. Keeper get there. Israel gets there. Right, we're going to go very defensive for these final 10 minutes. Looks like they're trying for underlaps in central areas. That's very interesting. You don't never, don't really see that in this game. Israel taking his time here with the ball in his hands. Hits it long towards Dos Santos. On to Vero. Gets on it. Can we get an assist from the goalkeeper? No, we cannot. He hits it straight at the opposition keeper himself. Into the dying minutes. Injury time. Please. Christmas miracle. Come on. We secured three points with... Arguably the worst starting 11 that I've ever put out in this save. Well done, boys. That is a very good win for us. I cannot believe that we have managed to pick up all three points with that absolute horror show there. Nacional beat Boston River. Penarol lose to River Plate, who are halfway down the table. So it is all really, really tight at the top of the table. Nacional on 13. Penarol on 12. We are also on 12. Guys, this is this is absolutely nuts. Dos Santos set for his goal bonus, which is unreal. Love that from him. So let's go into the let's go into the stand. As you can see, guys, I said it's all very very close. Two ones, one nil, two one, two one, one nil, one nil. They're all teeny, excuse me, teeny tiny margins. This is a big game coming up against Nacional. Then could well be a table topper. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do is if we win this game against Wanderers and it is a title topper, I will bring you back for the game against Nacional because um, that would be very interesting. If for some reason things go a little bit wobbly in this uh, this game against Wanderers, we'll come back for a double header against Liverpool and Penarol. If you have enjoyed today's episode of me somehow fluking three points with an absolute shit show of players all over the place because of my inability to manage a whole club. Uh, don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to my channel for daily football manager content. I hope all of you guys are having a fantastic Christmas. I'll be back for another episode of this on Monday, hopefully. I'll catch you guys there.